what we're going to be doing is uh, making a website from R in R from scratch using the blog down package. Uh, I think it's really important for academics to have their own personal websites. Um, a few people do get these through their institutions, but um, particularly for early career researchers, you never know where you're going to be in a few years' time. Uh, so it's really important to have your own website. Um, whether you like it or not, people are going to Google you. So you have to think about what they're going to find. And people want to find your publication list and your contact details. So by doing this for free within R Studio, you can actually uh, set up your own website uh, within the space of hopefully 30 to 40 minutes. So this is going to be completely live from scratch. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to be um, uh, furiously Googling the, any, any errors I get thrown, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually install uh, Blogdown, which is the um, which is the package that we're going to be using. So, just okay, let's go the uh, let's go this way. Okay, so now we've got Blogdown. Uh, installed and we are ready to go um, uh, within uh, within R Studio. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to set up a new project within R Studio. Um, this is what's going to get your website set up. Okay, so we go to File, New Project, um, start something new, and here's what you want to click: New website using Blogdown. Okay, let's just call this Twitter. And what's important is changing the Hugo theme to the academic theme. So let's type this in. J Cushion forward slash Hugo academic. Okay. Um, let's create this project. So it is doing its thing. It is going to be um, downloading all the necessary tools that you need. And uh, we can get started soon with doing this. Okay. Now we are good to go, and uh, it looks like everything is um, is loaded. Okay, so basically with this package, you've got a um, you've got a website which is uh, which is already there, and it already has or it already has a lot of information. So let's just have a look to see what the website looks like right now. So we put in the command uh, build site like this. Okay. We are getting that problem. Let's try this. There we go, okay. So now it's doing its thing. Building this up, putting it all together. Okay, now let's try to actually uh, serve the site so we can get it all rendered. Blog down. Serve site. Okay, there we go. So let's um, take a closer look at what's going on. So this is the site that actually gets uh, gets created. Um, obviously, you're not Lena Smith, and if you are, you're incredibly lucky. Um, but then you can actually change all these settings and there's a lot of flexibility here as to what actually goes in the title, um, what goes up here uh, up, up the top of the page which follows you and uh, you can um, you can change what's happening with the biography, interest, everything you can act, you, you can change and it's incredibly flexible including all the images and it's really easy to do within the blog down uh, package within, uh, within R Studio. So let's go back towards R. Um, okay. Uh, so, and this is actually good because you can actually switch between what your website looks like um, on the desktop and what the website looks like on mobile. So this is how it actually gets rendered here. Okay, so now um, this config file here, which you can see up here, um, has a lot of the information that you need uh, within your website. Uh, one thing you can do is change the title of your site. So um, we're going to make a fictitious academic um, called uh, Rue McRueface, who is in actual fact a kangaroo, but uh, we'll use that as an example. So we'll call this uh, Rue McRueface. Save this. Okay, we'll change the title. And there we go. So Rue McRueface has updated within the little, um, the little browser window here. Um, and if you were to click this button, it would actually get reflected in your desktop website as well. Um, okay, so we have that set up. 
Um, and there's a number of things that you can uh, that you can change with the website, which is actually quite uh, quite interesting. So let's scroll down. Okay, first the name. You want to do this. So right now, if we look at the website, we have Lena Smith, but we're going to change this to Rue Mc Rue Face. There we go. Role Professor of Marsupial physiology and you can guess by my accent why I picked a kangaroo okay there we go so we have updated room at Ruface. that's been changed that's been changed um, Stanford oh, I don't know if they've got um, academics at Stanford who focus on marsupial physiology so we'll go with uh, University of Sydney where I did my PhD Sydney. okay there we go let's um Save that, and um, you can also add a URL, which will come up there. Okay. Okay, so um, this is uh, not the profile that we want because it is a placeholder, but what we can do is we can add our own profile picture. Um, okay, so let's go online. There's a fantastic website called Unsplash. Dot com where you can get uh, free images that you can use um, even without attribution um, and they're fantastic images quite often when you actually see presentations or websites and people are using um, generic uh, generic web uh, generic images they're usually pretty horrible or they're low resolution uh, the benefit with unsplash is you can actually get really high quality images um, which are free so let's just put in kangaroo there we go okay what is going to be the yeah that is the one okay Download that bad boy. Save it. Put it to the desktop. We'll call it profile. Save it there. Okay, so what we're going to do is if we actually go back. Um, within the instructions here, you can actually say to specify an avatar image, um, move this to the static.img folder. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so move that profile. Okay, remember we actually um, put our um, directory here on the desktop um, within website. Sorry, within Twitter. Static IMG. It's got already portrait, which is the placeholder. Let's just replace it. And we'll call it portrait. I'll make it a little bit easier. I can't spell. Oh, okay, let's just delete that. Okay, now. There we go. There is our brand new portrait of uh, Rue McRue face. Perfect profile picture. Okay, uh, so that is how you change it. So all you would need to do is find your own profile picture and put that in the um, static .image, uh, image folder. And you could either call it portrait.jpg or name it whatever you want, but just put that file name in there after the avatar. Okay, um, you can also have an email address. So let's just go rue at sydney.edu dot au uh, building one room one Sydney Sydney Uni Sydney and I still remember the postcode 2006 I think it is New South Wales okay and then you can actually um, let's just save that and we can see Scroll down to the bottom for the contact. There we go. And you can also, um, if you have contact hours, you can adjust that as well. Put in your phone number, put in your Skype, um, uh, even Telegram if you um, if you use that. Okay, so um, the other thing that you can do is within this file is you can actually change how your website looks. Let's just scroll down.
Uh, you can adjust the colors, you can adjust the fonts. Okay, so color theme, the color theme now is uh, default. So you can see it here, um, but you can also change it to, let's say, ocean. It's gonna reload. And it's a slightly different color, or let's go 1950s, see what that's like. What was life like in the 1950s? There we go, a little bit different, but okay, let's just go back to default. Um, and there's also a, a cool feature where you can actually switch between day and night mode. And if you keep it at true, um, there is a little button up here, this button here, so you can go from day to night. So this is a, a little bit easy to read at night. Uh, so it's a cool, cool little feature, but you can actually um, change that yourself um, within this op option here. And you can also change the font style. I think the default does fine, but you can play around and, uh, and, see, and see what else you got there. Um, okay, so your, your main homepage here is set up um, with a collection of what they call widgets. So every single section is a, is, is a widget, which you, can, uh, which you can update. So you have this, this main widget up the top here, um, the, the sort of the main introductory bit with the biography. Um, but you've also got skills, experience, a whole bunch of stuff, um, which you can actually chop and, uh, and change yourself. Okay, so if you want to actually adjust those things, either editing them or just removing them uh, entirely, um, hop across to your, uh, to your files and then go to content and then home, as in your home page, and um, you can actually adjust these things. So that little bit at the front is called the, up, up the top, which actually has the explanation, is called the hero widget. So if we click on that and load that, um, active actually just tells tells the um, the widget to actually be shown on the home page. But if you change that to false, let's see what happens. Save that, go back, click on viewer, and boom, it's different. So now the first thing you see is Rue McRuface, his, uh, his, his, his face there and the, um, and the profile. So it's, it's a good example. So we go back to files and content. Now, one thing that you want to change, obviously, is the, uh, is the about. Uh, so we can actually say, you can list your interests there. Um, list your qualifications. Just say that's a thing, physiology, I'm a bad speller. Um, yeah, and you, put, you can put all your education there. And um, Rue McRue face has H index of 100. And you can go from there, whatever you want to say. Um, so maybe you don't want to actually talk about H index, but hey, some people do. Um, let's look back at the viewer and uh, see how we're going. All right, scroll down. There we go. You can see it's completely updated there. So that's just the about section. So then, if you actually go through all your, uh, if you go through all your files, um, then um, then you can see you can adjust the experience. So if you go down. Um, Every single thing that you see in this homepage here, you can adjust. You can either completely take away the widget or you can adjust what's in there. Um, so for instance, this is the experience one and you can see that that reflects what's um, what's in here. CEO, CEO, GenCoin, GenCoin, it's all there. Um, but then let's um, change that to false. Okay, so it is not there. Um, but uh, I think the really cool thing is that um, if you're not sure what something does, just play around with it and uh, and see what happens when you change something to true or to, or, or to false um, or to um, uh, to modify stuff. Now, there are some times where they actually say, do not modify this line, um, like here. But generally speaking, with the package, um, a lot of the files have a lot of instructions there. So if you're not sure what something does, just have a, have a close read and, um, and you, you can see what something does. Um, okay, so... Uh, one thing that's really important, obviously, is uh, is publications, um, and there is a, there is a section for publications. So there is one way that you can do that. Um, we'll go back to our files, and we'll go to um, content, and you can see publications there. Um, okay, so there's um, we'll click we'll, we'll click on the first one, and this has uh, information about a given publication. So let's just say we want to change this to um, 
Wallaby Physiology. Okay, so that's the title of the paper. Um, you can adjust your authors as well, and you can also specify the uh, the publication type. Right now, by default, it's conference paper, but if you um, have different sort of things, so we can actually change this to uh, journal article, for instance, you can do that. Um, and then here is where you would put the um, publication name and also the, uh, the the short version of the publication, which, which a lot of journals have, um, and then put in your abstract and an optional uh, shortened version as well. Um, and you notice on the uh, on the homepage, there's actually a section for selected publications. So if you do want this to come up in your selected publications, then you would leave this as true. Okay, so we have saved that to the Wallaby Physiology paper. Um, let's go back to our viewer. Okay, so we have Wallaby Physiology. Um, obviously, we want to change the abstract, um, but um, that picture doesn't fit with um, Wallaby Physiology. So let's... Uh, Hop on back to Unsplash. See if we can find us a wallaby. That's not a wallaby. That is. Okay. <laughs> I love that it's categorized as brown animal. Uh, okay. There we go. We'll uh, export that. Now, we want to move that to... Content publications to the actual folder of um, of that particular publication. Um, so right now, if we go back, we'll see that uh, the image that it uses is uh, featured.jpg. Um, so we're just going to replace that and call this uh, featured. Yes, we'll replace. And there we go. Oh, something happened. Let's reload it. The joys of, there we go. I put it, no. Okay not quite sure what has happened there. Maybe I've got to call it featured.jpg. Nope, that is not working for me, but I am going to move on. I'm going to move on. Um, but anyway, um, that is where you would actually uh, put the uh, put the image there, if it was working, but um, we're doing this live, so we're going we're gonna to plow ahead. Um, okay, so then basically you can go through and you can um, add your publications. You would add them as uh, as extra folders there, and then here you can have the actual. Um, you, can, you can you can change how your publications are listed, um, either as um, uh, APA or simple or detailed, and you will just uh, you will change things there as well. Um, okay, so we've got our our website, you can go through, you can change all these things, change all these interests, change your education, um, remove um, sections from these hero widgets by um, by changing, sorry, you can change widgets by changing active to false and show, uh, show exactly what you like. Um, you have recent up upcoming talks, um, blog posts as well, so you can actually set up a blog within this too, setting up projects, there's a whole bunch of options. But, um, this is all fine and all having it within our studio, but how do you actually get it uh, get it online? Um, the best way to do this is through a service called uh, NetLifey. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that correctly. That's N-E-T-L-I-F-Y. And you can set up a free account um, and uh, get your website online. Um, so what you first need to do is make sure everything's looking fine and that uh, you're satisfied with um, with what you're seeing here. Uh, okay, so that looks that looks pretty good to me. Um, and the other thing you can do is you can actually change the things that um, that appear here, and I can quickly show you how to do that. So we'll go back to the config file, which you'll be going back to a lot, and then it is. Oh yeah, and you can also change um, certain things here too. So 
if you have a Twitter account, you can actually um, put in your, um, your your Twitter URL here, and it'll come up when you have these um, have these icons down here. Um, you can have a direct link to your email, um, GitHub, Google Scholar, all the important stuff that you need if you're an academic. Um, okay, so here, this um, params.menu section, you can actually change um, what gets shown here. So we can see home publications post, home publications posts. You can adjust those things there and see what comes up, adjust the name and the URL as well. Um, so that is, um, that is pretty handy. Um, but yeah, have a look around and, uh, and see the sort of options that you do get. And like I said before, you can always tweak stuff and change stuff. Okay, so how do we actually get this, uh, get this online? Um, all right, so what you need to do is go into your folder and you'll notice there is a folder called public. And all you need to do is first uh, set up a account at NetLifey uh, for free. And then, so we'll go there. Okay, and then all you need to do, um, I mean, one way you can, you can traditionally do this is you can actually set this up via, via GitHub and, um, and have any changes pushed to GitHub. Um, but um, that takes a bit of time to get set up. But this is the really quick way of getting set up with your, with your personal website. Uh, okay, so what we'll do is we will um, go to the public file and simply drag the public file in here. Easy as that. Now it's uploading. Doing its thing. Okay. Uh, one thing you can do is um, uh, you can actually set up a custom domain um, if you want to get your own name as a domain name. Um, costs about um, you know ten dollars US uh, a year or, or so, um, and you can get your own custom domain which you can associate with your um, with your account. But if you don't want to do that, then you can actually still get um, uh, a, a pretty decent uh, website name. You'll just have uh, netlifey. Um, your name.netlifey.com within the website name, which isn't too bad. Okay, so now it has been published. So let us go to the website and there we go. We are online. Go, You can go see for yourself roo.netlifey.com and everything that we've made is, uh, is there. So if you want to do that yourself, just get that account at netlifey. And do that, and you can change the um, change the name accordingly. Um, so I think that's that's it. Go and play for yourself. Um, I'll add a link to a Twitter thread that I did, which actually goes through all these things. So um, rather than actually, you can rewatch the video if you want, um, but you can also go through the um, go through the go through the Twitter th Twitter thread and get all the details and all the URLs. So I hope that was useful. Um, if you've got any questions, just hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my name on Twitter is at DS Quintana. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll be back again soon with another live stream of, uh, of something else. If you're interested in something, just uh, just let me know. And if I can do it, I'll, I'll try and do it and, um, and hopefully I'll get everything working. So that's all for now. And uh, hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be back soon.